Multiple agencies across central Indiana searching for a thief they say has been breaking into vehicles all across multiple counties. Now it's happening near state and city parks, especially by hiking or running trails. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan tells you what you need to watch out for. What goes bump in the woods may not compare to what goes bump by the woods. In this case, they broke out the window and uh, they actually got in and stole the purse. And while common, people are always targeting vehicles that are left unattended. It doesn't usually happen outside of park trails in this many places. So far, I've heard uh, Pendleton, Newcastle, um, Hamilton County Sheriff's Office, DNR, and our agency. Their department being Danville Police. Detective Nate Lean investigating the most recent break in near Twin Bridge Trails. He posted this surveillance picture to social media. An individual immediately began using uh, her credit cards at various locations uh, throughout Hendricks County and Putnam County. That's when the detective's phone rang. Once we posted that, I was contacted by a trooper with the Indiana State Police. ISP, along with several other agencies, have been searching for him. Detective Lean saying he will steal anything inside cars. They're going to stop at several locations uh, on our video. Uh, he's at the ATM going from card to card to card to see if one will work. At times, he's with one of two women, but is always in a specific vehicle. It's a beat up red uh, older model Dodge Durango. The suspect cut himself during the last break in Danville, leaving blood behind. He also broke the button off of his shirt, so that's why his shirt's open so wide. Um, you can see that tattoo on his left upper chest. Detectives are now testing the blood samples to find a match. I'm guessing he doesn't know the area, um, just for the fact that he's so spread out in central Indiana. Soon, investigators may know him. In Danville, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Danville police say transaction records show that the suspect may be traveling toward Putnam and Owen counties. Law enforcement in that area, they have been notified.